I mean, this is only literally the most important video I've ever shot in the last 10 years. Let's do this. Hi my fam and welcome to another video on my channel. If you are watching this at midnight on the 1st of October, you are officially the first to know properly, officially. I know I've been dropping hints about this huge project I've been working on. I feel like I started hinting at this 2 years ago and then I really got into dropping hints over the last few months a lot more. But what can I say? The what I'm about to share with you has been almost 4 years in the making. It's been it's been a crazy ride. Okay, I just want to kind of pull the cat right out of the bag and you've read the title, so let me just say it with my own lips from my own mouth. I am launching my very own beauty brand. Oh my god, it feels surreal to say it out loud. I can't believe like I want to keep saying it now that it's out. I am launching my own beauty brand. It is called Wearified. I started posting on the Instagram page about 10 days ago and I've been dropping hints, there's teasers, there's shots going up on Instagram since a little while um through those days and I'm just going to sit down here today and tell you everything there is to know about the brand and um if there ever was a time for me to share everything with you and for you to support me this is it so right off the bat i just want to talk to you a little bit about why i wanted to have my own beauty brand and what verified is right should we start with the name i feel like we should probably start with the name um verified is a name i have used for a small capsule collection of bags i did a little over a year ago it's a name that came to me and i loved and i realized that okay even for the beauty brand something that i've been ideating on for much longer which i'll tell you about in a few minutes um the name just clicked and i knew that this would was, was going to be the name that stays with me um i feel like verified just the name in itself first off is it means so many things to me what when where has been the name of my blog since 2012 I um I started my blog with the name of Fashionably Ever After in 2011 rebranded it to What When Where in 12 and I felt like What When Where and then Verified was like an extension of the blog both name wise and metaphorically verified the word in like the digital space also instantly tends to remind people of the word V E R I F I E D which a lot of people associate with the blue tick but where i'm coming from when i say verified is more about the verification we give to ourselves i have always been someone who's strived really hard not just like online as a creator but also in my own life to create my own rules work my own path i've always tried to do things because i wanted to do them and because they were the right thing to do for me not just because somebody else was doing them even when i started blogging like 10 years ago it wasn't an industry the influencer space the term influencer even had not been coined and um there's so much that i had i was fortunate enough to be you know in the first mover space have that advantage that I feel like so much of what I've done obviously over the last decade has been built digitally. So there was a lot of association of that and the name Verify just stuck with so many things. I also want to touch upon the fact that the reason I say I believe in doing what feels right, being kind, giving love, it's what I've always believed in is just being inclusive to everyone. I wanted to create something that that made everybody feel like they belonged. You know what I mean which is why I feel like your beauty your personal journey your life has so much to do with you don't look for validation from outside look inside give yourself your own verification and that is just so important if you are following the verified instagram page and if you're not on instagram verified does have its very own youtube channel you may have seen the logo reveal we started working on this logo we hired someone for this this is not something i worked on on my own and when i say we i mean gerard and i and he obviously has been an instrumental uh, force in helping me get a lot of things in place um with all of his experience in advertising and branding i felt like i had 
had that one guiding light that really helped me through with that side of things from a very very pro angle um and we hired someone who was a very senior person in the industry and she did such a great great job with understanding what we wanted out of the logo out of the branding um and the logo is this beautiful beautiful stylized w that a lot of people are calling an upside down heart which i get it does look like an upside down heart i just wanted it to remind people that this is love and we've left like the w because it looks like a, the heart a little bit open it looks like you're always welcome you can come through that opening come into us i wanted to create something that instantly made people realize that this is nice and warm and you're just welcome i know i keep saying welcome over and over but that's what i feel about it um i feel like as a brand i want to change the conversations in the beauty space i feel like for so long um women and men have been sold beauty coming from the point of view of use this and you will look 10x better and use this and this will i want to create products and i want to do stuff that is not about just making you look better it's about how it makes you feel and that is of prime importance to me your comfort how you feel in every product i bring to you it is of utmost importance to me it is what i will pay a lot of attention to i want to pay attention to quality i want to pay attention to changing the conversations with beauty i want to try and include people from all walks of life because i think it's very important to not leave anybody out for so long our society's constructs have been about conventional beauty and fair skin and slim girls and everything is beautiful it doesn't have to fit into a mold you don't have to put things in a box and that's where i'm coming from when i want to start something i wanted to be community led i wanted to be by you guys of course today i'm going to tell you about the very first product launch but even in the time to come i want to hear from you on what other products you'd like for me to work on i want to hear from you on what other shades you'd like for me to work on i truly want to create something that you have a say in and that's really 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 important to me as a creator one of the things i take a lot of pride in something that really makes me happy is that i'm not someone who um posts content and goes away you know what i mean i have a closed facebook group with you guys i have a discord group with you guys um i've done videos in the past where i've called you guys randomly to talk to you because i feel like i know some of you pretty well um i feel like you know our virtual meet and greets or offline meet and greets have given me such a good insight into who you are as well i do polls i talk to you in the dms i've always believed not in using this as a one way communication uh pathway i've always believed in this being a very community approach platform my blog and my youtube channel and i just want to take that same philosophy into what is my brand i need all of me that i've poured into my content creation platforms to transcend into this because this is truly who i am what i believe in and what the ethos of my brand even is i want it to be community powered i want it to be community led i want you guys to get what you want how you want um and i just think that you don't need to compromise for that i'm here to try my best um i'm a very 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 tiny drop in the ocean i'm a very small brand compared to all the giants out there but i'm here willing to put in that work to make sure i just do my best that's that's pretty much my perspective on this while i'm talking to you about the launch of the brand and while i'm talking to you about The very first product I have to tell you our very very first campaign obviously has been so pivotal for us. I wanted to create a launch campaign that included some really interesting people with interesting life stories and true to the ethos of Wearified I wanted to have people from all walks of life come forward and be part of this beauty campaign. The way I look at this beauty campaign is people just feeling really good about the range of products that they're basically endorsing by being part of this campaign and I'm so grateful to each and every one of them who agreed to be part of this campaign every single picture you see on the website or on social media from this launch campaign or even in the future any pictures you see of this brand will not be edited there is no color correction there is no auto focus contrast uh, whatever other options that there are there are no filters there's nothing skin color nothing 
absolutely nothing hand on my heart has not been edited i wanted to make sure you see exactly what you will get and you will get exactly what you will see and i'm so grateful for each of these people we had 12 people part of this campaign i am not really i don't consider myself in the campaign shots um jerry and my team did insist that i jump in on some pictures but i don't consider myself as part of the 12 faces that we're launching with because even though this brand is mine and it's my baby and i own it i wanted to make sure that this is not about me i'm the brand is mine the credibility that i can give it i'm trying to give it i will do everything in my potential everything in my capacity to give it that credibility because i know how hard i've worked on it and the people in my life or people who know about the brand and have watched we work closely know how much i've worked on it but i don't i just don't want to be all over with my face all over the website i don't want that i want to be able to just have the brand stand on its own two feet i think it's time to tell you what the product is now in case you haven't already guessed because my dms over the last few weeks have been flooded with a variety of guesses and uh, i think we should just kind of pull that cat also out of the bag and i should tell you what it is right with verified my very 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 first product launch drum rolls please <laughs> It is my butter to matte long wear lipsticks. Oh my god, it feels so good to say this on camera. It is I'm launching my own line of lipsticks. I'm launching my own line of lipsticks. It has taken me so much work and it has taken me close to 4 years to get here. I know I didn't touch upon the 4 years angle. I feel I should tell you a little bit about that before I really dive into the product formula. The reason why it's taken me 4 years is in 2017 I started to conceptualize what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do lipsticks off the bat because you guys know I'm a sucker for lipsticks, okay? I feel like lipsticks are that one product that we all kind of most of us tend to have started our makeup journeys with. For me, even on a day off when I'm not doing a full glam face, I'm doing minimal makeup, a lipstick will always be part of that routine. I have so many friends who've um you know mentioned to me over a course of time that even for like work on the daily, they don't really do makeup, they usually do like sunscreen or moisturizer and they do lipstick and i feel like all of these things further were like okay i i know i'm on the right path and in 2017 i started doing research on the kind of formula i wanted to work on which i will tell you about in in just a couple of minutes i wanted to be able to bring something truly unique forward and i had absolutely no idea on where to go i had no resources i didn't know anybody personally um who owned a beauty brand who would be able to obviously like guide me or something uh, i come from content creator space i have a lot of friends in the media and i have a lot of clients who are on the beauty side obviously but naturally no one that i could pick up the phone and be like can you guide me i want to start my own brand i could do that if i was doing clothes because my parents have been into clothes but i was so clueless on where to start from um i did a lot of research i attended a bunch of um beauty fairs both online and offline and i kind of made a uh, short list on the kind of labs manufacturers that i thought i would start reaching out to what i didn't at all see coming was that because it's me and i'm a content creator and i don't have a vc investor big company multinational corporate backing me it was literally just me i really wasn't given as much bow as i would have wanted to um brands give you attention because you can put your pro you know their product out to you guys as potential consumers but the labs and manufacturers don't care that you're a content creator i really 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 struggled with um getting taken seriously finally when i kind of started re-strategizing the way i was you know reaching out to these labs i would have to hype myself up in the emails i would send to them i would have to list my awards as a beauty content creator as a content creator in general um there were a few labs that started you know responding back and we started talking and i started my sampling process and all of that i had a short list of labs i had a short list of samples i took my own sweet time 
in working on the formula i didn't want to take something that was ready so i promise you the product that you're getting from verified is not a private label white label product it is something i have worked on from scratch with specifications and with things and details that i knew i wanted i should probably also tell you another thing about why i chose to start with lipsticks right i feel like lipsticks as a category every time someone has asked me what my favorite lipstick is I would land up saying I like the pigmentation of this lipstick and I like the shade range of that brand and I like the long lastingness of you know number 3 or number C or whatever I would praise different things about different brands and products and just I think subconsciously it just made like this mishran in my head of what I knew I wanted and what I wasn't willing to compromise on because the product I wanted to put out there was just the lipstick of my dreams i wanted to put out the lipstick of my dreams i should have called it that but <laughs> um verified's very 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 first launch um is called the butter to matte long wear lipsticks um should i tell you what the formula first or should i show you the component first and the packaging first okay let me tell you what the let me tell you what the formula a little bit okay because i told you the name and i feel like I should tell you what it means. I'm someone who has dry skin and I'm someone who has dry lips and invariably there were a lot of really good matte lipsticks in the in the market because matte finish is my is my vibe and I know so many people prefer matte lipsticks. Um I wanted to create a lipstick that did not need me to prep my lips with lip balm and lip scrub i wanted something that could just glide onto my lips even though i have dry lips i wanted something that would just glide onto my lips like makkhan like butter and i wanted it to last all day long i've always maintained i'm not against touch ups is you eat you if you have oily food greasy food that's fine but at least it should stay for as long as it possibly can with your kind with any kind of lips right and i wanted a good one stroke application but if i want a lipstick i want something that just goes on and something that doesn't make me work hard for the pigmentation at the same time having said all of this i wanted to dry down matte and when i have to take it off after a long day i wanted to come off just evenly smoothly nicely without me having to rugify my lips and you know tear them up and make it even worse because i already have dry lips and everything i'm describing to you right now is exactly what i have in the butter to matte long wear lipsticks from verified it will go on to your lips like makkhan it is a bullet lipstick it is easy for beginners to use if you're someone who struggles with liquid lipsticks if you're someone who you know where's your lipstick on the go it is a bullet lipstick um it will stay on your lips of course the time of stay may vary for different people depending on how your lip skin is um it will dry down it will take maybe it will, again this will vary for different people when you apply it because it's so buttery it is genuinely so buttery when you apply it that it will take maybe a couple of seconds or minutes depending on your lip type to dry down but i promise you once it dries down to matte it's matte okay it is just completely matte and it will stay put it'll stay put i've had a lot of my friends try my samples i'm so grateful like this is a good time to for me to mention i'm so grateful to my friends for being so supportive over the last like year and a half ish they've tried so many different samples and stages of sampling that i've been at <laughs> over a period of time i collected all my friends together who had different skin tones because working on shades was just as complicating as selecting your and finalizing your formula um which brings me to the shades i have i i'm so i cannot i cannot cannot i can't tell you how like i know that there will be learning curves i know that i'm new and i've tried to pay attention to every single detail i'm sure there will be feedback which i'm here for i will try to do better with each and every day through my content i'm already obviously listening to feedback but even from this brand but off the bat i am just so happy with how these shades have turned out right from friends who sampled it to people who tried the final shades to the day we shot our campaign which was literally last week 
they look beautiful. We're doing 10 amazing shades. They're very, very diverse. I have um, nudes, I have pinks, I have reds, I have berries. I feel like for me, this I, I keep referring to this launch of 10 lipstick shades as the classics collection because this is something that you will never really see going out of style. I feel like trends are great and everybody loves watching a good trend, following a good trend, but I'm a sucker for the classics. And these 10 shades are something that will hopefully just get refilled over and over again in your beauty vanities. Okay, I feel like now is a great time for me to start talking about the shades because I know that you guys want to know what it is that I'm putting out there through the lipstick. First thing off the bat, I want to tell you when I started out, I thought that I would only be able to put out around five shades. And for me, I wasn't happy about that. But at a certain point in time, I thought that that was all I would be able to afford. Um, I took my time. I slowed things down further. I said, it's okay. I just am not feeling right about launching only with five shades. I felt like I would have to really shortlist and pick and choose. And if I want to be taken seriously as a brand, which I do, I promise you, I am so serious about this. I'm never going to stop being a content creator. I will continue that journey for myself, of course. But I want this to be a full-fledged brand on its own. I keep saying this and my friends, some agree with me and some don't agree with me. I keep saying this brand is not about me. I don't want to just launch shades that suit me and look good on me and are my style. I want to put out a collection of pieces that will make you proud of me, of the brand, of the products you hopefully buy and use and hopefully become, you know, influencers of yourself and endorsers of yourself. Because I strongly believe that the minute we really like a product, any product or service in the world, we automatically become influencers for that product because word of mouth, that's what word of mouth essentially is. For me, when I started working on the shade range and when I pushed back my own timelines and said, no, I'm going to take my time. I want to do... 10 shades I will push this launch behind and just really do it right to the best of my I want to look back years later at this irrespective of the outcome inshallah 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 the outcome of this will be fantastic I keep hoping and praying and sending myself good juju over that but I feel like irrespective of what the outcome of this is I know I've tried my very best I feel like I've paid attention to every tiny detail um i will tell you about those tiny details but i feel like i talked about the shades a little bit and i want to show you the shades okay this feels weird that i'm about to show it to you because i've been hiding it for so long i sincerely i will take this moment to apologize to everyone who over the last year year and a half ish two years maybe no around a year and a half when i really like got into things i apologize if you asked me what lipstick i was wearing and i did not respond to you i did not respond to you specifically for lipstick questions very deliberately because i couldn't tell you i didn't know what to say to you so i when i even even like closer to this launch when i've received dms saying i think you're launching lipsticks like i literally had people saying that to me you're launching with lipsticks because whatever there were teasers and this and that and some people because they noticed that i wasn't responding or sharing my lipstick details anymore and they had screenshots sent to me in my dms i would just not respond i didn't feel right lying to you but i also couldn't tell you because i was like it's not time and apna muh band rakhi liya hai so thode aur din se what i have in my hand over here is the verified butter to matte long wear lipstick mono garden this is what it looks like someday not someday maybe sometime soon i will sit down and tell you guys all the struggles and all the reasons and all of that and how we arrived at where we are now we have the component of the verified buttered matte long wear lipstick i feel like it might reflect a little bit over here so i will do inserts in this video wherever i can just because it is a metallic component um the formula is let me just say that the formula is so complex because we worked on it with so many demands that we needed an airtight packaging for the lipstick so in uh true style to how this journey has been we customed how it opens it does not open most most lipsticks all bullet lipsticks that at least i have tend to open just pushing up the bullet lipstick that you get from verified opens like a liquid lipstick you thread it up and close it down it doesn't come with a pull the reason i opted to get this done especially is because if we had opted for a push open 
kind of an airtight component a lot of people especially those with disabilities would have struggled to open it i have friends and family members who st- who 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 suffer from arthritis and i could just instantly think of how they would not be able to open it i know i want to just kind of say it out right over here i know that as i'm saying that and the first time i said it out loud to a friend i was immediately reminded by what rare beauty did with their packaging and they also opted for a different kind of packaging keeping physical disabilities in mind to ease out the way you open components so i'm very happy um that somehow we have landed up following their lead on that i'm very happy with how this turned out i love that it gives you that different feel i love that it is inclusive i love that the airtight packaging will keep your formula lasting just the way it is from day 1 up to 3 years which is the lifetime of the lipstick that we've created when you open it up you see the very beautiful palette this is what it looks like oh my god i can't believe i'm actually doing this i keep saying this it's going to sound nutty to you but ah oh, what can i say okay so should we just dive into the shades and i have my 10 lipsticks over here So I started with around 28 shades and I said that I now I'm doing 10 and I don't know how to pick because I loved everything and I couldn't do 28. Um it was very important for me to pick shades that were very very Indian skin tone friendly. Um I don't mean to exclude anyone ever but I feel like the lighter and light to mediums have a lot of options in the market when it comes to lipsticks but I feel like medium deeps and to deep and deepest skin tones definitely have their own share of struggles with finding shades that they like and that suit them i prioritized that shade that that side of the spectrum of course i feel like everything from the collection looks great on everyone and our campaign photos and pictures on the website and pictures on social media and all of that will show you that but my priority was to be very indian skin tone friendly um let me dive into showing you all of these shades and tell you about them and share the names working on the shade names for the verified butter to matte long wear lipsticks in itself was such a satisfying experience i mean of course we've seen a lot of beauty gurus in the west launch their own brands and i know that this is a newer thing here in india but i really wanted to create a set of names that showed you what the product like what the shade name was and at the same time had some story tying into how personal that name was for me and i'm going to share that with you today okay so i'm going to go in a completely random order we don't have a 0102 numbering system at all we just have names for everything each of the names that you hear you've definitely heard me talk about before because these are names and terms that are part of my life these are names and terms that will remind you of things if you've watched my content and watched my vlogs for a while so leave your favorite shade names down below in the comments okay by the end of this video okay let's go with this first one over here that i have in my hand <laughs> this is a complete coincidence but this is the very first shade i have over here It is a beautiful beautiful berry wine tone. It is so stunning and looks great on absolutely everyone. This is a lovely berry maroon shade and I could not think of another name for this apart from Jerry Berry. Jerry Berry is something I call Jerry. Obviously you guys know Jerry it comes from Gerard. Gerard is my husband and I felt like this name was just perfect for this shade. Um this is a shade that will complement. I will say this repeatedly. every single shade over here will complement all skin tones i have tried this out from my lightest friends to my deepest skin tone friends and um it's just something you're going to have to see for yourself with the imagery with the visuals with the photos campaign shots and swatches and all of that i love how this random order is playing out i swear they're lying here in just a random cluster So what we have over here is a beautiful everyday nude shade. Like I said, I've worked on shades that will work for every single occasion. This one is one of the two brownier nudes that I have. However, this has a slightly coral and caramelish finish. It looks so flattering. on everyone when i first showed my mom the set of you know shades and she was of course somebody whose opinion matters a lot to me in life you guys know i'm so close to my mom and then when i went to her saying okay we've shortlisted we've shortlisted a lot of people did votes on their top 10 and then i did my own votes obviously 
um from the top 10 then when i went to my mom and i was like oh you know what these are my top 10 this shade was her absolute favorite my mom um is a sucker for a good nude lipstick and she was like this i will wear every day i just know it i just know it now what she didn't know was that i in any case wanted to know what her favorite shade was because i wanted to name a shade after her so this beautiful nude over here is called shabbo my mom's name is shabana and my dad calls my mother shabbo So I wanted to kind of pay homage to both of them through this one. I didn't just want to call it Shabana. I wanted to call it Shabbo because in my mind and in my heart, that includes both of them. Um, oh my god! It it just feels weird talking about it on camera. I'm sorry. I don't mean to get. I have been crying. so much over the last couple of weeks every little thing we do makes me cry makes me emotional like there are so many ah oh, there are so many young girls out there i mean i was like what 14 15 when i randomly once said that you know it's one of those things that i think you subconsciously manifest that oh one day i want to have my own makeup brand and i mean today i have it and it just feels really It just feels really, really surreal. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> diving into the third shade over here again, randomly picking something out. Okay, this now I got married um, around four and a half years ago, almost five years ago at this point, and I remember I had a very, very particular shade in my head that I wanted to wear on my on the day of my nikah. and because i wanted a very very particular like specific shade i had landed up mixing two or three lipsticks um they were lipsticks obviously from different brands i don't want to name them that's not my intention but i wanted a very particular shade so i had mixed a couple of different shades up and um when i was working on these shades i remember that it was such a struggle for me to get that perfect pink nice not too bright bright but with something that could also pass off as an everyday pink nude i don't want to say pink nude but like a nice subtle bright pink you know what i mean and uh, when i did work on that shade this absolutely stunning pink that again flatters so many different skin tones that just makes your lips depending on how you wear it it can either make your lips pop or it can just play it cool with the rest of your makeup I knew instantly what I wanted to call it. This lipstick is called Twenty Sixth Jan. Twenty Sixth Jan, also India's Republic Day, happens to be my wedding anniversary, and I knew in a second that this shade needs to be called that because it is so close to that mishran that I had made on my lips on that day. This is the lipstick. Let me just off the bat say this is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. I have this. beautiful red lipstick over here for me i started i got into red lipstick somewhere around 2012 or 13 and i used to be someone this is again before social media makeup boom generation oh god i sound so old when i say that i'm only 30 years old guys <laughs> uh, i used to be very intimidated of the red lipstick but once i got into red lips and once i got into even deeper lips for that matter there was no looking back The first ever blog post I wrote. I'm going to link that in for you guys down below in the info box. The first ever blog post I wrote about a red lipstick was the title of the blog post was the bright bold red lipstick, and I felt like the name of my red lipstick needed to be paying homage to my blog and to that blog post. That was one of the first like I was discovering red lipsticks, and I wrote that beauty blog post. So this lipstick is called BBRL, which is an abbreviation to the title I just told you about. I'm wearing it on my lips right now, as you can see. It is a, it's that perfect true tone red. I've really played around a lot with the shades, um, and the undertones of the shades more than anything. So this is a neutral. It's not a cool tone. It's not a warm tone. It's a neutral, beautiful red lip. You can see how matte it is on my lips. And it's beautiful. It's, it just is. Okay, then I have this next shade, which is, again, I don't want to keep saying it's one of my favorites, but they're all my favorites. What I have over here is a stunning shade of purple with just a touch of berry. Now I feel shades like this again complement 
every skin tone i feel like they look really stunning on people with deep skin tones i feel like they make a statement on people with light or medium skin tones as well um but getting that undertone we reworked this quite a few times it was very important for me to get the purple not feeling like a purple but feeling like a berry purple something that's truly wearable um and that was just very important to me now coming to the name i feel like um purple is something violet something that a lot of us you know instantly relate with royalty on i didn't want to name it something like yes queen or whatever one of those trending phrases but i wanted a sense of royalty in it kind of reminded me i'm going to just take a 2 second reroute into telling you when i was younger i was obsessed with being called princess anam it was a bunch it was in a bunch of my emails as well my friends and my family and jerry make a lot of fun of some of my older emails that have princess in it i was obsessed with wanting to be a princess i also want to tell you guys that i if you follow me on instagram you know these random men sometimes find your um, instagram accounts and they leave comments like baby and babe and things like that and a bunch of times i will go and reply to them saying not your baby and i would take a screenshot and put it on my stories so when i was working on this name i wanted princess and i wanted i didn't want queen in some trending word because it's my entire approach to everything is very evergreen and very classic and obviously i hope and aim to give you something that lasts forever something that is truly evergreen so the name for this lipstick is not your princess the interpretation is open to you you could not want to be a princess you could not be a princess because you want to be a queen it's totally your call on how you choose to see this okay this is one of those true everyday nudes that i think so many people are going to love while i love all the shades in general i feel like the nudes like just you know that little understanding that a lot of people might want more nudes because like office or everyday life kind of a vibe This looks a little pinky when you look at it but I've seen this looking more brown on some people more peachy on some people more pinky on some people I've realized over the course of developing these shades and working on these shades that first of all lipsticks look so unique on each person depending on what their skin complexion skin undertone is like and what their lip natural color is like um hand swatches are not always an actual representation of lipsticks I just want to say that off the bat We have included hand swatches in some of the social media and some of some parts of the website because I know that that's a done practice in the beauty industry. However, my advice to you would be to look at the pictures where people are wearing these shades on their lips. Um this is a shade that is like a nude pink and a nude brown had a baby. That's the way I imagine it. I I don't know how else to explain it. Like it's the perfect middle ground nude. You can wear any look with this. You can wear absolutely any look with this. Um and it looks different on different people simply because, you know, of your own skin and how it looks and your shade and your undertone and all that amazing stuff. <laughs> Then we have this beautiful mauve. Now mauves to me are a must have. The reason I say that is because I feel like mauves are so versatile they go beautifully with indian clothes but at the same time if you're playing it cool with like a barely there makeup look a mauve can instantly just add that one touch like that little cherry on the cake that changes everything um and just uplifts and enhances the way your makeup looks now when i was really 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 confused about this shade name i have to tell you that um and i kept telling myself what does a mauve do and what is a like i kept talking to myself right because i was confused about how to name this one and i kept saying to myself that you know mauves are so underrated we all think that regular nudes or a red these are the statement makers but i feel like things like this can really go on to pack a punch in a look i kept saying to myself pack a punch pack a punch pack a punch and um somebody at some point in the middle of all this because obviously all of this happened over a course of many months um somebody said something about my height my literal height is 5 feet 3 inches and 3 quarters so typically when somebody asks me my height i say i'm 54 in that moment i i i was having this very fun it wasn't a serious conversation it was a fun random conversation and i was like listen you know what i may be 53 but i can pack a punch And the second I said that, it was like this click opened, like it opened my brain, like something opened up in my brain, and I was like, oh my god, I need to name that lipstick five feet three inches, and that is the name of this lipstick. It's called five feet three inches. It can do so much. It is one of the most 
versatile lipstick shades to have in your collection. I know I'm giving you like a little story time on each shade, but that's literally the journey of how I finalized these names. Of course, I had options for things and all of that, but this is kind of where I'm coming from, and I wanted you to know a little bit because I feel like that's only fair. All right, I was wondering when this one would come up because I have only three more left. <laughs> this shade is a beautiful brown. It is the most perfect neutral brown shade if you're a really light person who wants to make a statement or wear something in the evening if you're a medium or a deep person that is looking for that perfect nude that doesn't have pink in it it's just a good solid brown this one is for you the name of this shade and i want to tell you why i think you'll know why but the name of this shade is letala you guys know I have been obsessed with Nutella all my life and I eat my Nutella with Magic Masala Lays. Some people find this weird. Some people have gone on to try it and tell me they love it. A lot of you have. Um, Laytella is what I call that combination of both of these favorite snacks of mine that go together. The first time I saw that final perfect brown and because it's really buttery, the entire, you know, the lipstick in itself is super, super, super buttery, the formula. When I saw it, it reminded me of Nutella. Obviously, I cannot call my lipstick Nutella. And so I switched it to my favorite snack, which is Laytella. And uh, I love how this shade looks on everyone. Guys, as a blanket, like, I love how every shade looks on everyone. It's one of, like, my... It's one of the joys of my life to have been able to create this and come up with this from scratch and then name them and look into the details i mean there have been so many challenges but i think i said this before already but i'm just gonna reiterate i did my best going into the second last shade okay now this shade has become this has surprised me like i love the shade i love all the shades but I was surprised at how many people said this was going to go on to be their everyday shades because they're into shades like this. The shade I have in my hand is a lovely rusty brick tone, but it's not like a deep shade. It's a very middle ground shade. Um, it is something you can totally wear as an everyday shade because it's not as bright as the red lip. It's a little bit more subdued and it has a little brickier, rustier tone on it. Um, it again flatters all skin tones, undertones and all that good stuff. This shade is called Boop. B-O-O-P. I'm specifying that in case you heard something else. <laughs> when we were going back and forth on this, and I remember asking Jerry for help because I was just blanking out. I was like, what do I use? What phrases do I use? And this and that. Jerry actually named this particular shade from the entire lot. This name came from him. He was like, you know what? When you wear this shade on your lips, because obviously I was wearing all the lipsticks on my, uh, on my lips, Lipsticks on my lips, lipsticks on my face. I was wearing all of these lipsticks for so long, uh, both on and a lot off camera also. He was like, your lips match Nibbles' nose. Nibbles is our cat. And I was like, okay, but do we want to name the lipstick Nibbles? And I was feeling a little confused about that. And he said, no, you know, because we keep booping Nibbles' nose. He was like, I think you should call this lipstick Boop. And that name just clicked this shade, when, like when you wear it, it does look really similar to Nibbles' nose. And that's where the name Boop came from. I'm saying the spelling again. It's B-O-O-P. Just putting it out there. Because a lot of people have heard that wrong when I was telling them about this. And I don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> okay, we're down to the last shade. Can't believe I've gone through telling you about 10 mini story times about these shades. The last shade that I have, oh my god, how apt is it that this is the last shade? It's almost like a grand finale because this is literally where everything started from. However, this shade has given me most trouble in life because while all the others took three attempts, four attempts, some took five, six attempts, I definitely, this one had the most number of attempts to get the pink just right. This is a true tone pink. It is so beautiful. It's bright, but it's not bright in the sense like a neon. It's this warm, beautiful pink. I kept referring to this shade as blossom, blossom, bloom, bloom, because it just kept reminding me of that perfect floral vibe. But blossom or a bloom was not related to a phrase that I would use and didn't fit in with my personal theme 
but i really like those names i will definitely use it for something in the future and then one day when i was wearing this it struck to me that this is such a beautiful pink shade when i started uh, my blog fashionably ever after which then became what when where i had this one constant pink that pink was a lot brighter but i felt like i should pay homage to my blog which is where everything started from so the name of this shade over here is www which obviously stands for what when where i starting my blog was the best happy accident that could have ever happened in my life i am so grateful alhamdulillah 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 i'm so happy um just everything that's happened since then has been so great i've had my share of ups and downs i've had my share of challenges i've worked really 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 hard um i did not necessarily get lucky uh, but it was an accident that i grabbed with both hands and took that opportunity and worked really hard on for the last 10 years and what when where gave birth to a lot of things including this brand verified which is a great time for me to tell you that what when where my blog completes 10 years this year like in december and for us it's like a 10 on 10 situation i complete 10 years of my blog i'm launching 10 shades we're vegan we're cruelty free i told you about all the claims i've worked so so hard on this and i i i i i know i said this before but for me where we when we when i was how do i say it i just want to be really honest and say this to you when i started working on this brand it was a random dream it was a vision and there were so many struggles i'm such a teeny tiny little drop in the ocean of brands out there if you know anything about the beauty industry you know that the beauty industry works on an economies of scale it's all about making a lot together a lot together because that's how all the big brands make their profits but for me I did the best I could with the resources and funds and all of that that I had. Um I remember when we had to finalize um what I was going to book, the orders, the quantities, the lipsticks, the shades, how many shades there would be. I was so intimidated with the process because it took me 4 years of literally putting money aside every month almost like a pocket money like a fund um and i haven't taken a rupee from anyone over you know this there's no investor there's no vc whatever whatever and i was so intimidated i was like there is so much at stake and i think that obviously according to me we're ordering a lot but for the factories and the labs that we were dealing with we're ordering like the minimum order quantities so i was like okay you know what I'm going to do this. I'm going to go all in. I'm going to dive straight into the deep end. What for me is the deep end for it's not the deep end for a lot of others and brands and people with much bigger pockets, but I'm doing the best I can and I'm just so happy that I'm doing this and um it's something that I've worked really really hard from. Like I didn't even when I made like a list for myself, right? In 17 and then I made the list again in 18, I made the list again in 19. Like I would keep going back to the list and revising it. on the flow of things and what needed to be done of what the legalities would be like of how the licensing works of how the copyright works trademark works call, just everything it's it seemed very very intimidating but i remember saying to myself that i just need to get through this first launch and i'm if i get the ropes and i get the hang of it and if my audience and my followers believe that i would never put a product out there that i thought was subba this is some really good shit if i may say so myself um i just need you to believe in me the first time i remember my dad asked me this question at the start of 2021 when we were finalizing things from like a legal standpoint and all of that and he cuz obviously he's my father he's been in business i was running my numbers through him and all of that and he just looked at me and he said one thing he said anam are you sure about your product and i said to him you know there are a lot of things i'm not sure about because like the legalities and all of the other stuff can be fairly intimidating the only thing right now that i'm so sure of like 100% sure of is my formula i hadn't gotten into shades like i hadn't signed on the all the 10 shades at that point but my formula was sealed at that time and i was like that's the one thing i'm sure of i need everyone to just get in and try that first lipstick and i know in my heart that you will come back for more it's that's just it 
that was a good time for, tell, for me to tell you actually about pricing, about gift sets, about value sets, because I want you guys to know more about literally as we speak right now, the website is live. Maybe I should have opened the video with that, but I wanted to give you all of this stuff information first. Um, what we have is I've, I've kind of worked on the system. So our lipsticks, the verified butter to matte longwear lipsticks retail at 899 rupees inclusive of taxes. So it's basically 760 rupees ish uh, plus taxes which plus GST, which brings it to 899 rupees. Um, however, we've done this really, really cool thing where we're doing value sets. Now you can buy one lipstick as is. There is no additional uh, shipping charge. There's no additional COD. Um, COD is something that a lot of people actually advised us. Cash on delivery is something that a lot of people actually advised us not to do. But I really want to do cash on delivery simply because I understand a lot of people out there might prefer paying by cash. Um, so yeah, there's it's it's 899 rupees inclusive of taxes. There is no extra charges on cash on delivery um, and shipping. If you just buy one lipstick off the bat, it's still the same price. We are shipping only within India as of now. I promise you we have announcements coming up for that. I promise, promise, promise you we have announcements coming up for that. Um, and then we have discounted value sets. We have discounted value sets for buying two lipsticks. We have discounted value sets for buying four lipsticks. And we have a discounted value set for buying seven lipsticks. If you go onto the website, you will see some ready options available for twos, fours, and seven, and you can make your own pairs as well. That's completely flexible. In addition to all of this, we have two more things that I want to tell you. We have gift boxes. Right now I'm placing lipsticks, but you're gonna get this with mono cartons, obviously. Um, you have gift boxes of three and five. Now these gift boxes are really nice and really sturdy. Um, if you want to gift something to someone, these gift boxes will actually make for a really, really great option. You will, these will come with mono cartons inside. I'm just showing this to you for reference. Um, and they look and feel really nice and luxurious. The gift boxes are not on any discounts at the moment. The reason is because we've spent obviously a certain amount of money on them and we wanted to make sure you have top quality if you are looking for discounts you can do value sets of 247 but the gift boxes are available in gift boxes of three and gift boxes of five once again we have some ready options available in both of these categories plus you can make your own i wanted every single thing to be super super customizable and then we come to the big one over here, which I definitely want to show you. Um, apart from value sets of two for seven and gift boxes of three and five, we have a hybrid, which is a gift box with a huge discount um, of 10. So we have these really, really cute verified logo shapes, which are coming in three colors. These pouches are available in transparent, in a beautiful frosted yellow and in a tinted black. So when you buy a gift box of 10, you can buy 10 lipsticks. You can either buy all 10, which means one unit of each, or you can customize and mix and match your type of 10. That's again, I've kept everything super, super flexible on the website. Um, when you get this, you get this pouch inside a verified heart shaped logo box. You're seeing some of this behind me over here. I can see it in the frame. Um, so you won't just get the pouch in your mail. You will get it inside a box. Uh, so it's almost like feeling like you're opening PR or giving like a really nice, luxurious present. My aim for the feel and look and even with like the component and the weight and the way we, we, we've made these gift boxes or even the heart shaped boxes you're seeing behind me was to make you feel like you're holding a luxurious premium quality uh, product. We've done literally everything in a capacity to deliver that premium feel to you. Um, and I really, really, really hope you like everything that there is out there. As a brand owner, sounds so weird to say that, um, one of the key goals I had was to try and be as environmentally responsible as possible. Now being completely plastic free was something that was really, really, really expensive, but we did manage to find quite a few alternates and ways around making things happen. 
at the same time there are a few things that you will see change in the time to come hopefully inshallah once we start to grow and are able to do more but small little things like for example our the packaging that we send to you is completely plastic free we're trying to be as plastic free as possible we're not using bubble wrap we're using honeycomb paper um in our mono cartons you see where you get the component in your lipstick comes in from our lipstick is completely metallic having said that i wanted to make sure it comes to you it's not very prone to getting scratches but just to be absolutely safe because you don't know how parcels might get thrown around in the process of shipment i wanted to make sure your lipsticks come to you completely clean in mint condition scratch free so we had a really good genuinely really really good quality um plastic lamination done on the inside that sort of works as a buffer when the component goes in so you you do get your lipstick finally in really good packaging and the plastic we've used inside is completely recyclable so there are a few things um that i would like to change in the time to come and be even more environmentally friendly for sure but like i said those are things that i want to try and be able to do in the time to come once we have the resources for them another goal that i had at a, as a business owner was so our lipstick has been um made in india everything that we could make in india pretty much has been made in india the formulation has been made in italy we're working with a lab that's headquartered in italy and for us that was really important because i'm very conscious of course of the quality and making sure that these stellar benchmarks of amazing products that exist in the market if i'm filling gaps that i see and feel as a creator and as a consumer i also need to meet a certain standard um but it has been fully made in india i was very very clear that i wanted to work with a lab that could make in india that could produce in india and i really hope i'm not missing out on telling you anything ah I've, i've talked so much oh, i don't even know how long this video is going to land up being but i i i feel like i really still i'm sure there are things that i'm forgetting to tell you and that you will probably hear from me in the next videos or in um upcoming videos i promise you this channel is not it's not going to turn into just being about verified verified has its own social media and has its own website and has its own youtube channel all of which will be linked down below please give my new baby some love um it needs a lot of love if there ever was a time for you to come support me this is now i feel like you might i hope i hope that you might fall in love with everything that we put out there I'm not here to just create one product and stop. I realize how long it took me to work on this one product. So as soon as I am finishing off all the details for um the with the formula and while I was working on the shades, I started sampling things from other categories. I mean, I don't know how long it'll take. We can never tell. Like I said, working in a very new to this space kind of a zone. But I promise you I will do more I will do better I'm willing to listen I want your feedback I want your thoughts I want your demands tell me what you want me to do next I'm here to listen to you I'm here to try and create something that is truly different from what exists in the market and I'm not here to tell you use my products because you will look better or whatever. I'm here to just give you something that might uplift your mood, that might make you feel better. And along the course of this journey, if you fall in love with the brand the way I have and if you agree with and feel part of the conversation and the ethos and where I'm coming from, then I will feel like we've done something right. This has been a long journey. This has been worth it just to me because I feel satisfied. I feel I feel confident of the quality of product I'm putting out there. I feel like we didn't compromise on formula, we didn't compromise on ingredients, the cocoa butter, the vitamin E, the jojoba, the argan, the way blend, like it will melt, it will just sit on your face the way you want it to. I feel like we've gone all out in making sure our standard of quality, like I may be a really teeny tiny brand, but I wanted to make sure quality wise with what was on in the inside i had something to compete with the other brands for i want a place in this market and i know that i can only get it if i give you a product that is of an amazing quality because the benchmarks out there are pretty high so i wanted to make sure i do my best to give you something that is truly truly worth it i am just going to hope that we get a great response on this because we have a lot riding on this and i want to make sure that if there's anything you have to say to me i will listen with an open heart and open ears and an open mind and i 
can't wait for you to see more of what I have to share and I can't wait to see what you have to say to me about all of this. Go over to the website, shop your hearts out hopefully, Diwali's around the corner, festive season around the corner, weddings are around the corner, there's a lot of opportunities in need for you to go buy and make up and have fun with it. Um, and in any case, just tell me what you think. I love you guys so, so, so much. And um, I will see you in the next one. And from now, I don't have to lie to you about what meetings I may or hide parts of my vlogs or keep secrets and cover things on Instagram stories. Thank you if you've made this if you've made it to this video to the very end. I'm gonna go have water because my throat is getting dry. And I love you very, very much. Mwah.